nobody knows about it. This is like one of the best news ever. The breakthrough is that it is now accepted by clinicians, by scientists, that if you are on effective HIV treatment, you simply cannot infect anybody else. Undetectable, in other words, no trace of the virus can be found in your blood, means untransmittable, i.e. you can't give it to anyone else. I think the extraordinary thing is that stigma is still so pervasive in our society I mean, I remember, of course, when people were dying and when there was no effective treatment. And, of course, something like that, it makes people very scared. And when people are scared, they often lash out and they can be very cruel. But today, people living with HIV are expected to have a normal life expectancy. The treatment renders us uninfectious. So the fact that stigma is still so pervasive, it's become, it's become a, a, a remnant, an artefact of a previous era and I think we really need to be saying that we cannot tolerate this anymore. And worryingly, I have myself noticed that if I'm visiting somebody's house and they know I'm HIV positive, they might just go and clean the loo after I've been there. Um, we have to overcome the assumptions that HIV is a gay thing or that someone has done something wrong or they've been naughty or they've been promiscuous, you know? So stigma is informed and shame is um, brought on by, by all of these assumptions. A stigma can affect different people for all sorts of reasons. People may be very comfortable uh, talking to their friends about their HIV, for instance, but not their family or their work colleagues. Uh, they may feel very judged. They may feel unable to uh, access services normally or unable to, for instance, uh, have a family. So it can affect you in very different ways. And where U equals U is very powerful is it gives us this unifying message that actually if you are undetectable on treatment, then you cannot pass on your virus sexually, and that applies to everyone. 1987, Public Health England managed to send a leaflet in each and every household in the UK tell, telling them, don't die of ignorance. And there was this massive campaign, one of the biggest public health campaigns ever done in this country. And I do feel that 30 years on, it's almost owed to us to have another campaign saying, hello, people live with HIV cannot give HIV to others. In order to truly dismantle stigma, we need to be talking about U equals U. If any story comes out on HIV in the news, the old tombstones will come out and be shown again. And that is the very first thing in people's minds. HIV, tombstones, death. We need big public campaigns in order to show how much the picture has really changed. The shadow of that tombstone is still with us now. And I think there's time now for us to say HIV has changed. And one of the ways that it's changed is that someone who is on effective treatment isn't a transmission risk to their sexual partners. So I, one of the things which I find really exciting about U equals U is it gets rid of some of those barriers to HIV testing. Because I think for a lot of people, the thought that they may be HIV positive, it's not just scary in and of itself, it's scary on the, in terms of the impact it may have on their sex lives or may have on the, the impact it may have on their relationships. So I think by sharing that news, you're removing the barriers to testing and of course that means that we're actually getting people treated and thereby we're preventing new infections and that's fantastic.